We're here again at SIGGRAPH 2024, and I'm here with Christian from ArcEye. And well, Christian, tell me a little bit about what you've done here. This is amazing to me. Great, so yeah, we, uh, we partnered with Sony to create sort of a 3D scanning head rig. And this is a demo of the technology that's available now um, from Sony with their new cameras. And we're just producing a model here at the show so that everybody can see what you can do. And this is a really basic setup. Um, we just have uh, cross-polarized lighting so we can create a nice mesh, um, especially in, in the conditions of the real world where we have all these extra lights and things going on. And, uh, but yeah, we just sit people down and we're just scanning them and then showing them how fast the data flows through. And I think you saw how, I mean, you sat up and it was already on the screen, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you had me sit down, fired a, a shot. To me, it just seemed like one photo, yep. but then you had, so how many cameras do you have here? Okay, so there's 22 cameras, but there's kind of like two different rigs in one. What's happening is there's the LR1s, which are 61 megapixel and they're sort of industrialized cameras. They have no LCD, uh, but what's beautiful about them is they, connect, they can connect directly to the network. Uh, so we have them plugged into a network switch, and then we have the power and the sync plugged into our sync boxes. So this is what we make at ArcEye. Uh, it synchronizes all the cameras, and it calibrates all of them. So we have the option to fire all the cameras together, or the LR1s or the 9 Mark III's, and it does all the offsets to make sure that they're all exposing at the same time. Uh, and so this is good for time alignment because when people are moving or there's high motion and in, in whatever you're trying to capture, um, uh, a few milliseconds can result in pixels shifting and that will reduce quality and reconstruction. So we align everything here and they all capture at the same time. So for you, it was a single capture and we just did every camera fires once and then we're able to use that to reconstruct. But uh, for the 9 Mark III, that's a different story. So the 9 Mark III is a global shutter, 24 megapixel camera from Sony that is doing a burst mode. And so we're burst mode synchronized. And so now we can do 4D reconstruction. We can do 3D over time. And so now the, the end result is that you have a 3D model that has accurate deformations and, and sort of motion. Uh, that goes sort of beyond mocap, where mocap it has a has a limit on just the amount of data that you can process, um, unless you're looking at an image data. But here we're just using the raw image data to create mesh, and so it's great for reference, and it can also be sort of packaged into a final product. Um, and so at 120 FPS, that's the maximum that they can go. Uh, it's pretty pretty amazing to see like what the human face is doing, and uh, so then you can combine the two together, and you can sort of use them you know, the 4D and the 3D and kind of, you know, for cinema, for games and other applications. So you've got 22 cameras here now. Is like the upper limit or is there is there an upper limit to how many cameras could be in a rig? It's pretty typical that in a 3D scanning rig today, there's many more cameras. Um, most of them are doing flat light kind of like this and uh, they're, there are maybe 50, you know, to 100 cameras in some cases. There are some rigs that go beyond that, 150, 200 cameras. Um, but that's not required to do um, reconstruction. Uh, you can do 3D with just two cameras, and uh, it just limits the amount of data that you can, you know, the, the sort of coverage that you have. And so here we were, you know, do, we just wanted to show a little demo of capturing sort of ear to ear on the face, so we don't get the back of the head for instance. And so if you wanted the back of the head and you and you were using photogrammetry, you would need to add more cameras. And how does your technology facilitate that addition of the more and more cameras? Yeah, so what's beautiful is that you can, from Sony's side, you can connect all of the cameras to the network directly. And so from the computer perspective, we have a laptop over there and one network cable running into it. And that's going to the switch and all the cameras go to the switch. There's no Raspberry Pis, there's no additional computers, there's no additional cables or USB. There actually is one USB cable on this whole rig and uh, so it's all very streamlined and very simple to set up and easy to use so you can add more cameras by just adding more Ethernet cables and then from a sync side these boxes will daisy chain and so it delivers power and data um, through one connection so if I were to go here and, and break this connection um, you'll see that the other downstream compute you know uh, uh, boxes turn off and if I connect it back up you'll see that it will automatically turn on, they'll synchronize, they'll calibrate, they'll share all the settings across the net, across the, the system. 
and, uh, and then you can expand to more. So each box does six cameras, and then you can expand um, up to uh, uh, close to 200 cameras um, total. And um, the, uh, the, that box is also responsible for synchronizing the lighting. And so we keep everything in sync and, and with proper time using that. And that, that system is self-contained, so it distributes power and information and data all over that cable seamlessly, so you don't even have to worry about any of that. Um, from a user perspective, you plug the one USB cable on this rig into your laptop and open up some desktop software and you can go change all the settings and calibrations and sort of timings of, of every single port on the rig. And so now you have hardware sync of the cameras, which is critically important for, for this type of work. And then you have uh, all the data flowing and you can change the settings on the camera. You can download images quickly. You can have them delivered to multiple computers. So it's a really nice system that, uh, that really is you know, uh, sort of a complete package when you, you know, pair the Sony offering with, uh, with our offering. And then in terms of the hardware, you've got your sync boxes. Uh, is the lighting something that is also designed by you or is that an off the shelf solution? Or? Yeah, so these, these lights are from uh, Quasar Science. Um, uh, this, is, this is off the shelf. We're just using it for nice flat base lighting. Um, typically with a rig like this you may want to do more complicated lighting setups and so we have offerings for that as well. And um, so uh, that would be additional lights that are typically custom and, and, uh, you know, uh, and, and so for different applications. But everybody kind of has a different need. Um, I still know people that are triggering with strobe and that's one of the things that the sync box helps with is we can align all the cameras so that way every camera, even different makes and models and whatnot, they can all uh, be synchronized together with strobe all, all at the same time. So you can mix five, six, seven different cameras together into a rig because maybe you want a high resolution here, but you have a bunch of you know lower resolution for you know complete coverage and you want an infrared and you want to do some testing with this new one. You can synchronize them all together and it's accurate enough that you can do strobe capture, LED capture, you know, animated, whatever, whatever you want to do. Awesome. So anyone that happens to see this video and is as interested in this as I am, uh, how would they reach you? What are the best ways to get to you? Is it something like LinkedIn, email? What, what do you prefer? Yeah, the website, um, arcee.com, A-R-C-E-Y-E.com. Um, we have some information there. Uh, we sell our sync boxes and our other products. And then uh, we also have a way that you can contact us to get more information about building a rig that you know, not only does face capture, but you can use the same technology reconfigured to do full body, object scanning, uh, and even environment scanning. Awesome. Thank you so much for the time, Christian. I really Thank appreciate you. it. I'm really interested in this. And so uh, that's it for ArcEye right now. And until next time, have fun.